Okay, we're in Denton, Texas. We're going to look at this neat pool, which has this awesome view in the background. The nice thing is we get to share this awesome view with the horses and the cows and everything else. So we actually have a couple of horses grazing here at poolside. Come on. So first thing we have to do is right off the, uh, the office, we wanted to have a great view of a waterfall. But we didn't want something so big that it stood out. So what we did was come in. This is actually the spa here. And we're located right by the fireplace, which is off of the office. Uh, it's slight, the spa being slightly raised up. Uh, and then you've got a great view across the spa and the vanishing edge. And we just wanted a little bit of water sound and a waterfall coming into this. So we have a nice big hot tub, but then the hot tub separated from the pool so we get a little bit of a river effect. But we also wanted it to be easy to get in the spa, so we're going to step down a couple of steps here. We kept the uh, patio up high along with the, uh, the porch, but now this is, we're down 18 inches so we can sit here, spin our legs around, it makes a nice seat wall for more entertaining as well. So we had to have a, some retaining walls on the edge here. So these retaining walls are the same all the way across. You can see the tops of the boulders here. As you look around the side, you can actually see as it feathers into the landscaping uh, over there. We'll go down to the below and kind of look at that in a second. So here we've got the, the stream coming out of the uh, hot tub, which is real natural look. Also. What's nice about the stream aspect is we put a boulder in the center, so we can easily cross over without having to walk all the way around. And we've got an unusual detail here to point out is typically on a few of the is wide. This is not close to wide, this is a really good slack. So the way that we have to do this is we have to shoot the gun out of the shell larger to accommodate so, then to transition from the larger piece of the stone on the edge of the pool, we put flagstone with the mondo grass in between it, and then steps going up to the upper terrace, again similar to what we had off at the office there. Now, we come over this way, you can see when we get up here, uh, oh, I guess it's the oats must be ready because we're fixing to leave and go somewhere else. It's, I guess it's feeding time around the corner for the horses. So, see you guys. Oh, so to finish our tour before the horse hops up here and swims. <laughs> uh, We've got an awesome backdrop here for the vanishing edge. Uh, and as you back up, when you have the house view, you won't even see the retaining wall uh, that keeps the horses out. Uh, so it looks like the horses come right up to the edge of the pool and you've got this awesome scenery all the way across uh, the back, which uh, this is one of the prettiest views probably in Denton County uh, where we're located right here. So, we uh, gave them large slabs of flagstone, also for the porch, uh, as well as the large slabs here in between the pool and the uh, uh, existing porch. So, come on back up here and you can see the view from inside the house. So we've got, you know, as you, as you look here, We've got a large view of the, the whole setting. And then we've got an awesome covered porch area with some chairs going around to the office area and the fireplace. Uh, over on this side, we've got a, a nice view also from the, uh, the master uh, bedroom. You know, looking around here. Now, this is a view looking again down the valley across the vanishing edge from the master porch here uh, and then let's uh, go down the stairs we actually had to build a staircase 
down the boulders. So we've got, and the city of course required a handrail. So we've got this retaining wall that comes down to the grass. Now as you look across here, it's just grass because we've got this uh, wall on the edge of the grass that keeps the horses out and the horses are down below. So, ah, they're still grazing down there around the corner. But you can see, if I don't fall off this wall here, uh, this has got the horses down below, but the cows and the horses can't quite get up here, but they can enjoy the wonderful view of the pool. So let's walk over here. So this wall, so we transition all the way across. This house was up higher, so we had to build a wall all the way around to drop down to a level area. Otherwise, we'd have a real steep hillside here. So this is the vanishing edge weir, which was designed to be very naturalistic and blend along with the wall. It's uh, The tank is raised up six inches above the ground, so when you mow, grass clippings don't get in there. Also, it's a lot easier to weed eat up against. And what you've got is very natural waterfall uh, going across this whole basin. Not a ton of water. We wanted it to look natural. We didn't want it to look like some gushing, you know, Niagara Falls. Uh, and as you can see, the transition to the uh, spa area and the spillway coming out of the spa quite naturalistic as well. So, very natural setting, very natural materials, very simple, uh, but a beautiful view, beautiful home, that, and a beautiful pool that complements everything. So, we'll go down and look at the equipment set in a second because that's even more unusual, uh, which is over in, that's the top of the roof of the equipment room. So, here from uh, Benton, Texas, there's the uh, view that we get to enjoy. So, 